In this model, we will be demonstrating the sliding filament theory, which is... Thick and thin filaments within the sarcomere slide past one another, shortening the entire length of the sarcomere. In order to slide past the other, the myosin heads will interact with the actin filaments and, using ATP, bend to pull past the actin. In our model, we will be using an actin head, mitochondria, ADP, which is attached to the myosin heads, calcium, ATP, troponin, tropomyosin, our sarcomere, and our sarcoplasmic plasmic reticulum. When our body decides to move, calcium comes in near the actin filaments, revealing the myosin binding site. Calcium binds to troponin and moves the tropomyosin away from the actin strand, allowing the myosin head to bind to actin and facilitate the actual contraction. And here come the myosin attaching to their site with ADP attached to the myosin heads. This binding creates to the inorganic phosphate creates ATP, which then creates the power stroke back, lengthening the strand. In rigor mortis, cellular respiration stops, depleting oxygen and thus ATP, allowing the body to become stiff. ATP is no longer there to power the calcium pump, so calcium ions just diffuse into the sarcomere and the sarcoplasmic reticulum. This causes cross-bridging between myosin and actin, binding the muscles together. It's temporary because enzymes eventually break down the myosin's head and the muscle can move again.